Do you want a wood deck stained like this? A beautiful wood deck? Well, if so, this is a quick product review for Seco Pro Lux SRD wood finish. This product is great. I love it because it's a one coat translucent system. It's an oil-based stain and it goes on great. It looks beautiful. It comes in all sorts of colors. It comes, this is natural I chose. It comes in natural light, teak, uh, mahogany, and a bunch of others. This is a great product if you wanna stain your deck. And in this video, I'm gonna tell you why. This product is great because it's a one coat system. You don't need two coats, you only need one. In fact, you put it on, you can put it on an older deck, but the stain needs to be removed, or you can put it on new wood. And it just saves you that much more labor. It goes on great, it looks great. And I'm gonna tell you how I did it. First, I power washed the deck and I used a little scrub brush and a detergent to clean the deck and all the foot traffic and all the dirty wear. Um, and I kind of brought that wood look back to life. The second thing I did was uh, I waited a few days, then I came back and I, I tested the moisture of the wood and it was below 15%, which is exactly where you want it, 12 to 15% or anything below that. And uh, I tested the, the wood and the wood was great. So I then went ahead and palm sanded it. And the reason why I palm sanded it with an 80 grit palm sander is just to kind of clean up some of the little spurs that s stick up and uh, gets rid of some of the splinters so that if you're walking on barefoot, it, uh, it feels nice. You don't get that in your feet. Once I sanded it down, I dusted it down with a broom and made sure that there was no debris on it. Once I did that, I went ahead and stained it. And the first thing I did was I went around the outside and I stained the outside first. And I used a cut card uh, to help protect that. And the reason why I did that is because if you spill a little bit of stain on the outside and it drips down, it's not gonna stain and, and, and make it difficult for you to blend that in. Uh, stain that falls on previously stained wood is easier to blend in versus stain that feet that pours down onto unstained wood, it leaves a mark, it dries in, and it's really hard to get that looking great. Once I did the outside, I then did the actual deck one by one, one board at a time. I kept a wet edge. I just kind of moved along really slowly. I put a lot of stain on it and I just worked it in. I worked it down the cracks. I worked it down the sides. I worked it on the top. I just made sure that I went with the grain versus against the grain. Some of the tools I use is uh, a, an old brush. It's definitely gonna get beat up and worn. I might throw it out at the end of the day. We also have a whiz roller. I call it a Johnny roller. That helps in some applications. If I ever use a Johnny roller, um, I always back brush. I always use a brush to kind of work it into the wood. The whiz roller is great because it holds a lot, um, but it's not good for everything. It, I did it for mostly the, the lattice there and it worked really good. And then I jammed a brush into it so that's what I did for that. This is my handy dandy cut card I made. It's pretty straightforward, but it just helped protect the ground, helps protect the wood uh, so that I don't stain on it. Uh, definitely wear gloves. This is an oil-based product. You'll definitely want an N95 mask. You might want something better than that because it really stinks. Make sure you're outside. Um, and a rag, you definitely want a rag. You want a broom or a vacuum and you want paint thinner because that's how it cleans up. So paint thinner or mineral spirits cleans up this product. It's a great product. You're gonna love it. It's called Seco Prolux SRD RE Wood Finish. You can buy it pretty much any retail paint store. And uh, it's an oil-based product. It's great. Now, the last thing I'm gonna say is, if you have wet rags, make sure you put those wet rags in a bucket of water when you're done, because those wet rags, this, 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 this can here has a little combustible flame icon. And that means that if you get soiled rags and you bundle them up and you throw them in the garbage or you put them in a place where there's not a lot of air, they can self combust and, and turn into flames and they can burn down your house. If you put this in the back of your car with all the dirty rags, it can light your car on fire. So be very careful with that. It's also toxic stuff. So definitely do it in a well ventilated, well ventilated area and uh, you'll have a beautiful looking deck just like this one.